we're asked to perform the indicated operation and simplify. Notice how we have the product of two binomials. These are often referred to as special products because the binomials are conjugates. Looking at the first example, notice how we have the quantity six-fifths t plus three times the quantity six-fifths t minus three. So some textbooks do provide a formula when multiplying binomial conjugates shown here below. We're gonna go ahead and multiply like we normally do by using repeated distribution. So to multiply these two binomials, you need to distribute both terms in the first binomial into the second binomial. So we first distribute six-fifths t into the second binomial, which would give us one, two products. And then we distribute the positive three into the second binomial, which gives us two more products. The product of two binomials will always have four products. And some textbooks use the acronym FOIL to explain how to multiply two binomials, where the product of the first, outer, inner, and last terms would give us these four products. But again, I think it's easier to remember repeated distribution. And now let's write out each product. So the first product is six-fifths t times six-fifths t. Then we have plus six-fifths t times negative three. Plus, now we distribute the positive three, so we have three times six-fifths t plus three times negative three. And now let's determine each product. Well, six-fifths times six-fifths would be 36 twenty-fifths. So we have 36 twenty-fifths t squared. Then we have plus six-fifths t times negative three. What well, we can write negative three as a fraction with a denominator of one. So this product would be negative 18 fifths t. Instead of plus negative 18 fifths t, let's just write minus 18 fifths t. Then we have plus positive three times six fifths t would be plus 18 fifths t. Then finally we have plus three times negative three, that's plus negative nine or just minus nine. Now combining like terms, notice how these two terms are like terms and opposites, and therefore negative 18 fifths t plus 18 fifths t is zero. When multiplying two conjugates, these two terms should always be opposites and simplify to zero. So the final product is 36 20 fifths t squared minus nine. For this first example, if we did try to apply the formula shown here, notice how a is equal to six fifths t and b is equal to three. Using the formula, the product is equal to a squared minus b squared, which equals the square of six fifths t minus the square of three. Notice the square of six fifths t would be 36 25ths t squared minus three squared is nine, which does give us the same product. Let's look at a second example. Again, to find this product, we'll distribute the terms in the first binomial into the second binomial. So we first distribute the three a into the second binomial. So we'd have one, two products. And then we distribute the negative two ninths into the second binomial, giving us two more products. So distributing three a, get three a times three a plus three a times two ninths plus negative two ninths times three a and finally plus negative two ninths times two ninths. Now we find each product three a times three a is nine a squared plus, let's write three a as a fraction with a denominator of one. Notice three and nine share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and three threes and nine. So this product is two thirds a. So we have plus two thirds a. And we have plus, again let's write three a as a fraction with a denominator of one. Common factor of three, 
one, three, and three, and three, three is a nine. Notice how this product is negative two-thirds a, so we have minus two-thirds a, and then finally we have plus negative two-ninths times positive two-ninths, which would be negative four eighty-first. So we have minus four eighty-first. Again, notice how these two terms are like terms and opposites, and therefore the final product is nine a squared minus four over eighty-one. I hope you found this helpful.